You're only ever frustrated in any situation because of one simple reason. You want something to happen at the time that you want it to. Not at the time where it will unfold, at the time where you want it to happen. So in essence, you are interested in controlling time of something. Whether that be life situations, whether that be people and the way they are, or something about yourself that you want to change. To start this off, we're going to start with life situations. And one of the examples that I really want to bring to your attention is goals. Goals are a definite way where when we feel like we want to have it, when we feel like we are going towards something in life, we want it to happen now. Or we have a definite time that we want it to happen. I remember all the goals that I used to set back in the day. I set goals where I was wanting to have a certain type of body, wanting to make a certain type of money, wanting to travel to this place, wanting to have this kind of lifestyle with women. I remember I was trying to have all these goals. And which each, with each one, it brought great frustration. It wasn't because of anything simply but, I wanted it to happen now. I would look at, you know what? This is what's going on currently. Let's say it was money. I don't have a lot of money right now. And I want to have money in my life. I want to have a lifestyle where I can be financially free. Because I was reading books about financial freedom and, and, you know, it would say things like that in books where it would talk about the money part. And I would go, right now I'm not financially free. And that's what I want. I want to be financially free. Then I would run out of food. And I'll be sitting there at home like, fuck, man, I just, I just don't want to struggle anymore. Why do I keep struggling? Just allow myself to go deeper and deeper into my frustration. Deeper and deeper into it. Impatient with the process. Wanting to control the time of it. Where I would just get so angry, really. I would just be like, fuck, why? I'm hungry, man. I, I, I'm going to make this much of this job. I know I should be making more because I know I should be doing more in life, then, I, then it would turn into other situations like, fuck, I'm not traveling right now. I know I want to travel. It would build more frustration to more frustration to more frustration to even turn into sadness. And this is what you may notice that you have with goals. You have a goal right now, and you're really focused. But when the times get rough or when you're not feeling the best, this I want it to happen now starts to come in. And with that I want it to happen now, the only thing that can be as a result of that is frustration. It's the only thing that can be a result. There's no other outcome of I want this to happen right now other than frustration. Of course, there's something past that which is like sadness or something deeper than that, of course. But frustration will follow the moment you say to any goal, I want it to happen right now. Because it's not happening right now. That's why you want it to happen. And it was the same way with me. I was looking at, I want this lifestyle right now with women, and it's not happening. Frustration then would follow. I would get thoughts that would make me feel even more frustrated, like, fuck, they keep flaking. I want women to ha this to happen right now, women, but 
it seems like nobody's appreciating me. Nobody's really giving me a chance. Or let's think about health. I was wanting to have a certain body at the time. And I kept, I would just always touch on my gut and be like, oh fuck, it's just not happening. And I would pull at my skin that I wanted to be more tight. And I would feel frustrated like, fuck, why is it just that around my midsection I just can't get it slim? Or like I told you with the money thing, I would look at the things I couldn't do because I didn't have money. And then I would go into fresh thoughts of, of, would come inside like I don't have this, fuck I wish I had it right now, this would be easier. Frustration then followed. I wanted to control the timing of everything. Just probably like you do, you want to control the timing of your goals. I don't know one person who has had a goal and not felt frustration. And some of them even believe frustrating, frustration is a part of having a goal. That's what some of them believe. And many gurus or guys who teach men or teach women, it doesn't matter, self-development, they even say frustration is a part of the process. You just have to get past it, then you'll be stronger or then you'll be something. But through my looking at the goals and going after things and wanting to have this goal and that goal right now and right now and right now, I start to see that I actually don't have to be frustrated. I don't have to be. I'm only frustrated because I'm expecting it to happen right now. That is the only reason why. If I didn't expect it to happen right now, frustration wouldn't follow. But because I'm impatient with the process, I'm impatient with what's happening. I have this thing of, it must happen my way. It must happen the way I want it to happen. This control, this obsession with controlling the time of what's gonna happen was the reason why. The only reason why. Then I started to go, all right, well, what would happen if I didn't expect anything? What would happen? Something beautifully pro profound, profoundly beautiful happened to me. I started to see that my goals don't need to have a time. And this is also something that I learned as well from someone named Kevin Trudeau, who gives a lot of shit now because he's had all kinds of scandals. But that's something I definitely learned from him back in the day, is when you are so focused on time, doubt and all kinds of things creep in. This is when he's talking about when you're going towards something. But then I start to notice that also, when you're trying to control time or when you are so focused on the timing, it can make you impatient. When you're so focused on it needs to happen right now, it causes frustration. So it actually pushes you further away from it. With that, with him saying that and me going further into that and finding out about frustration and impatience, I went, I want things to happen in my life. I do. I do have things that I'm going toward. I aspire to this. I aspire to have this. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to let it happen at the time that it's going to happen. I'm just going to let it happen. Yes, I do want to learn about money. I do. I want to have more money in my life so I can be able to do the things, have the things that I want. I do. Yes, I want to have this quote unquote great body that I was have, wanted to have at the time. Yes, I do. I know it's not going to happen overnight. I know it's not. I know it's not. It's going to happen at the time that is best. But what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go down the track and I'm going to do the necessary things that's going to allow me to have that body. I don't need to have the body by tomorrow. I don't need to have the body right now. I don't need to have the body a month from now. I just, I'm just going to work toward it and I'm going to enjoy what's happening along the way. 
this is what changed. I went, I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to focus more of the joy than trying to be frustrated that it's not happening right now. Because I was only looking at the results, like, oh, this is not happening right now. This is this, this is this, this is this. Which made me go, oh, when, when will it happen? Just attitude of like, oh, when will it happen? So I tell you, with the goals that you have in life, I know something that you feel or will feel at some point is frustration. And it's only because you expect it to happen right in this moment. And the only way to get away from that is to understand that you can't control the timing of that. That the goal will happen when it does. I thought, literally, I thought, two years ago, I thought that I'll already be traveling around the world and having seminars in every city. This is what I thought, literally. But, because I was able to relax more, and I was coming from the place of joy, I just went, it's going to happen at the time that it's going to happen, and it's going to be the best time. And the first time I did it was last year in New York City. And I, you know how some people go, you know, it's your first seminar, you're nervous, you're this. No, I wasn't nervous at all. It was the feeling like, oh, this is finally here. There was a slight feeling of some discomfort because it was my first time ever running something like this, but it was no nervousness there. The video, if you go look at my video that I did in New York City, who you are is what she wants, New York City. That I did that and I look completely the way I look right now. That was my very first time running an event by myself. But I imagine, I can just imagine if I was just like in this place of frustration, like this needs to happen, this have to be this, that would have also followed me into the event. I would have been at the event like this many people need to come. If they don't come, fuck, that means that I'm a failure, you know. It needs to go for this long. Oh, fuck, now it's, it's, I feel like it's going over time. Now I'm getting frustrated that I don't have enough time because I did go over time in certain parts. And I knew I wasn't going to get it right the first time. I knew it. But I was just enjoying the whole thing. And it happened at the perfect time. And every single one after that, very comfortable in doing it. And it's the first of its kind out there. It's the first Q&A seduction event, so to speak, seduction seminar. I don't do anything else but Q&A. It was the first time of its kind. Yeah, there's guys out there who do Q&A, but this is the first of its kind. Like the only thing I do is Q&A events. That's the only thing I'll ever do as far as seminars. That just gives you an example of what is it like when you actually don't want to control the timing of something that you want to bring into your life. That when it comes in, it's going to be better than you expect if you let go of the control of the timing of it. Then that takes us into the unfolding or how frustration shows up and dealing with others. The example that I want to bring to your attention is when you want someone in front of you or someone who is very close to you to change. Let's say uh, you have a friend. And the friend, he acts in a certain way and you just want him to change that behavior. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm trying to work on it. You know, I'm not the best at it. And I'm just trying to work on it. You go into a situation with him, he does it. Then you're like, oh, he's doing it again. Then you go into another situation, he does it again. Then he does it again. And then you feel like, man, you're always doing this. You told me that you're gonna stop and you just blow up. Why do I bring it up in this type of situation? Because it's nothing like somebody being very close to you. frustrating you. 
is nothing like this because the people who can frustrate us the most are those who are the closest to us. And these are also the people that we want to control the most because we want them to do it our way. We feel like we know the way. We want them to be a certain way so that we don't have to feel negative feelings. Their way of being is not our way of being and we go, I want that to change. And I want it to happen now. Because right now I don't, I'm feeling negative feelings. I want you to change that part of you right now. That's actually what's happening underneath. You want to control the timing of when that person will change that behavior. You, you see, you're doing this again. You do this every time. Each time when I'm around you, you do this. You always are wanting to control the time because the feeling behind it is, why do you keep doing this and why haven't you have changed it? Why haven't you done it yet? I want you to do this thing and you haven't done it yet. You are trying to control that person to do something now, to be a way for you right now. And I'm a person who definitely knows what this is like. Wanting people to change a way. Even the last company that I was with, when I was with TNL, if you don't know anything about, about it, if I don't know if this is your first video, when I was with The Natural Lifestyles, I remember me wanting everybody to have the same work ethic as me. I remember this. I wanted everyone to just wake up, have a set time, have this daily schedule, and be able to move through it smoothly like I did, or with focus like I did. And then being around them, it gave me a wake up call to, I can't control them to be the way that I want them to be. And I was just going, you know, if they would just do this right now, this would happen. These things wouldn't happen. They wouldn't have to struggle with this if they just did it like this. And then when they wouldn't, I would feel frustrated like, fuck, they're doing it again. They're talking about this thing, but they're actually not, nothing's happening because they're not just doing this. Wanting things to be the way that I wanted it to be so I could feel positive feelings. So I wouldn't have to feel the negativity of it. And the reason why I only felt the negativity is that I wanted them to change. I wanted them to change when I wanted them to change. And what's crazy is that they never even had to change. But to make me feel better, I wanted them to do it. And this is the same way that you probably do with someone very close to you. You want them to change at the time that you want them to change. Not even looking at the fact that people are not you. You are not others. People change at their own rate. Of course, if they're under pain, if they feel like they're going to lose someone, they'll change. But otherwise, people change when they're going to. And the only thing that you can do is be the witness of the moment that you want to control it. That's it. Because you got to realize that their behavior doesn't truly affect you. It doesn't. Even if somebody said to you, you're a fucking loser, or you're lame, or you are not a good person, you're an asshole, even if they said these things to you, that still truly doesn't affect you. It doesn't. When you really get down to it, you feel reaction toward it, if you ever do, based on you, not based on them. They just made you react, that's it. So I bring you into letting go of the control of the time you want someone to change something. If you want them in your life, just be the witness of the thing that they do that makes you feel frustrated, that makes you feel like, fuck, why do they keep doing this? And maybe they are a person who is in the position of doing something that you know is not beneficial for both of you. you maybe you know it's them. That's fine. If it's them, allow yourself to feel the, the, the thing of, I know that they're doing this and I'm just going to be the witness of it. The part of me is reacting and I'm just going to be the witness of that reaction. You don't have to act on it and go, you're doing it again. You don't have to actually act on it. You don't. Just be the witness of the feeling that comes up for them doing it. That's it. And this brings the great moment to now transition into you. The way you feel frustrated with yourself. 
and your own changing parts of yourself and when you want it to change. If you're watching this video, you're interested in changing something about yourself. You're interested in being different. Not being the person you are right now. You're interested in that. So how do you let up on the control of the timing of yourself? Meaning like, when you are going to change. Basically, there needs to be an understanding for yourself that you have two choices. Feel frustrated or make the choice you know that is hard for you to make. This is the only thing when it comes to you, the frustration with yourself. You have the choice every single moment you do to make the choice that you know that you want to make, even if it's difficult, or feel frustrated. That is both a choice. Frustration is a choice for you. This is why I tell you about my path or my goals, because it was a choice still to engage in the thoughts. This is something that's going to carry you for the rest of your life if you listen to it. Your thoughts The path that it's going is a choice. It could lead to you feeling frustrated, but before it gets there, the track is a choice. A thought comes up. Why isn't it happening right now? Why do I have to keep struggling with this? At that moment, it is a choice to keep going. And with that choice that you have to keep going, it will take strength. It is easy to follow a thread once it's started, because it gains momentum. Why is it this happening right now, man? I, I feel like I really, really wanna learn how to express this part of myself, but I keep backing off. I don't know why I keep backing off. Now it's gaining momentum. It takes strength to stop the momentum. It's like if something is going 100 kilometers or 100 meters per hour, and you just try to stop it with something that's not enough force, it is going to keep going because it doesn't have something that's as powerful as it. And the thing that's as powerful as it is your focus of what you want. That is more powerful than it. Cutting that with the focus of what you want. The focus, that's why I say, it will take strength. You must consciously focus yourself to cut it. The momentum. So it can go a different way.
another example. You find yourself wanting to say no. Maybe you're someone who's not used to saying no to someone. And the situation comes up where you, you can say no, but you also know that this person may not like it. And you back off. In that moment of backing off, you will walk away and frustration will come in. Well, the track will start, the thoughts will start, then frustration will follow as the feeling. The thoughts will come in, fuck, I should have said no. Why do I keep doing this? Fuck, I know I don't like when this person does it to me. Now the momentum is starting to gain. It is. And with this momentum, immediately the consistent feeling is frustration. So it's gonna boop, pop up again. And as it comes up in the situation, you now have the choice. And this is what I saw back in the day. I had the choice to do this. At any time where I would feel these things, I had the choice to stop the momentum. But I let it keep going on. So I want to tell you right now that you have the choice to stop the momentum. And going back to the example, it starts going and it's at the moment where you need to go. I need to make the choice that I'm going to say no. Because remember I told you, you have the choice of the frustration, the track of frustration, or you have the choice of what you really want the choice you know that you want to make. Maybe it's hard for you to make, but you have the, these two things present with you. It's just you're so used to this that you're going to go with it. You are. It takes strength to go, no, I want to make this, because now you're building a, do, a new route. One person I must say who really talks about this very, very well is Tony Robbins. He definitely talks about this building a new neurolo neurological pathway. He definitely is very right with this. He's very right with that. You can build a new way of doing something. You just need to learn how to change direction. And it's in the moment that is gaining momentum. And even better if you catch it, but I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say in the moment where it's gaining momentum. Catching what it is and then whoop, switching routes. In that moment, being able to go, no. I know that this is gonna go this way, and what I really wanna do is I wanna make the choice that I'm going to start saying no. And I'm gonna become aware at the times where I don't say no. And then you start going down that track. I'm not gonna teach you exactly how to do the whole thing. You would have to come see me, of course, in some like the seminar or in coaching, but this is what I'm gonna give you for now. Because Yes, I can talk about life situations. Yes, I could talk about how you want others to change. But I know you actually want to figure out how can I stop being frustrated? How can I learn about my own frustration? Because life situations and people are outside of yourself. So if you learn how to deal with the frustration in yourself, the frustration out of yourself will start to wither away. But I started there so you can be able to see exactly how you feel frustrated by certain things. Coming back to you, learning to make the choice in the moment that you don't wanna make. This is the thing that you need to learn because you have the chance to make the choice and it's catching it at the time where the momentum is happening. I give you something very valuable, valuable because this is the way now to go about life. Which, with feeling frustrated, with expecting things of yourself. You'll never be able to control the timing, never. Because you don't know exactly what moment it's going to happen. Whatever wants to change inside of you, you don't know the exact moment. So forget about when it's going to happen. Forget about the moment it's going to happen. Just focus on making the choice that you know you need to make in the moment. As much as it would, may be the hardest choice, focus on making the choice because it's the thing that's away from the frustration. It's going to give you the enjoyment. It's making the choice you know that you really want to make.
And with all three of these situations, you'll start to really learn what it means to be at ease, to let up, to enjoy, to have joy with the process of situations in life, whether they be goals, with people in the way that they are, and also with yourself. Ah, oh, thank you so much for tuning in to this cold video. I'm actually so cold. I've been shaking on the bottom part of my body. I still have spots in my Berlin seminar. If you feel like, you know what, Tony? I want to learn more about myself. This is the perfect chance. This is the only time I'm coming to Berlin until next year. So if you live in the Netherlands, if you live around Berlin and somewhere, this is the time to come. It's below in the description box, so you can go down there and click that link that say Berlin Seminar Tickets. You'll find out more. Subscribe and share this with anybody who you feel will need to hear this. And lastly, it's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try, simply be. I'll talk to you in a few days.